what's happening guys today we are going to build this power supply which you saw in uh, the slow boat from China episode number 10 and once it's over the build is over I'm going to give it away to one of you so watch till the end of the video and find out how you can win it alright so to get started we're going to start with the smallest component the resistors which I've all measured out and we're ready to go Alrighty, so you can see our resistors are all in. Here's a nice stick. Two watt resistor there, five watt resistor there. Next up, diodes. And we got a whole bunch of different flavors of diodes. We've got some one in 5408s, the 4148s, and 5B1s, 4004. So we will start soldering those in next. Alright, the diodes are in now. You can see we have some of these big switching diodes. We had a couple of 4148s, 5V1, 4004. Next, we're going to move on to capacitors. We'll do the ceramics and tantalums first, and the electrolytics last. All the capacitors are in except for the big one, which I will put in last. Next, we'll go on to some of the other ICs. it for the resistors, diodes, capacitors, and ICs. All we've got left are some pots and connectors and uh, she'll be all done. Okay so a couple days have passed since we uh, finished up with all the bulk of the components here. You can see we've got our big switching transistor here, smaller one over here, our giant capacitor, got our LED our large input diodes. So basically all we're left with now is putting in the pots and the receptacles for the input and output and putting the rest of it together. So get the stuff out and get ready. Not too much left here to do. Let's start with the pots. Now they are both 10K and they're single turn pots, which means, you know, they are not going to be the greatest. But for our purposes here, in making a simple power supply, which I fully intend to give away to one of you guys, when it's complete, this will work out just fine. Now what I'm going to do here is just give it a little tack so it holds in place. Make sure it's nice and flat. Then we will solder it in properly. Oops, that, that moved, didn't it? Yes, it did. Let's try this again here. 
we'll just solder one of these bad boys in and then as you can see kind of got itself out of place so a nice little trick is just to go like that hold it let them cool and you can put everything back in place quite neatly make sure we got nice joints yep everything looks good there move on to our next one we are really coming to the end of this project there's not much left to do um, we're gonna I got a nice little case here I'll show you in a second that we're gonna put it in and then we'll add the rest of the stuff that goes with it and it will be a nice power supply whoops let me fix this I'll be right back we got her all soldered in nice and neat like got one more pot to do this is a 10 turn adjustment pot and it's 100k so we'll get her in there and get it soldered up real nice get one of them soldered then we'll heat reheat it and adjust it let it cool And then we'll solder in the other two connections. Pretty simple. All right, I'm soldering in the input terminals. Then all we've got left to do is the output. And she'll be done. Other than, you know, mounting it up and all that goodness but that only takes a second all right everything is put in place let's connect up our transformer in this case it's just a 12 volt transformer but it will work for right now showing us what we got okay all right turn on the power and hopefully we will see the LED light up or it will go boom one of the two hey how about that all right let's hook a meter to it and see what she'll do okay let's power it up and we're getting half a negative volt Okay, that's strange. All right, we'll power back up again. And as you can see, we're getting a good five volts there. And we should be able to get up to well, 9.46 with that 12 volt transformer let's try a different transformer all right well I couldn't find another AC transformer so we're kind of just stuck with this one for now but as you can see it's working pretty good 
and we can even bring in our meter that we're going to put in the project we can get them all clipped in here together one <laughs> come on jeez louise my hands don't want to do what I'm telling them to all right now come on everybody get in there and play nice so there we go you can see we've got 9.46 we got 9.4 everything seems to be working fine except the diode the uh, LED seems to have gone out but I don't know what's up with that anyway I got this nice heat sink with a fan that's going to go over here for our big switching transformer and a nice project box that's all going to go into but that's going to have to wait for another day and another video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video about building this power supply. Now, I said at the beginning, I'm going to give it away to one of you guys. So, if you want this power supply, first of all, you must be a subscriber to this channel. Secondly, I need you to share a video somewhere. I don't care what video it is. Share one post the link in the comments to where you shared it that'll enter you in the competition and we will draw it let's say September 30th all right that's it I'm out of here you guys have a good day bye